Hello. Today we're going to show you how to take a color image and convert it to black and white so that it can be printed on a laser engraver on a piece of Baltic birch plywood. Before we start, we'll turn on our object properties manager by going to Windows, Dockers, and Object Properties. The next step is to open our image, so we'll go to File, Import, select the image, and import. I'll drop it by clicking somewhere on the screen. You'll notice that the image is a lot bigger than our workspace, so we need to shrink it down. We'll do so by going to the ribbon and selecting uh, the width and change that to 4.75. I'll make sure that the lock is locked. That will constrain the entire image to the sizes that we designate. Enter, and you'll see that the image got a lot smaller. Now we need to position the image. I can click the middle and drag up, but we would like it to be coincident with our laser home position. So let's go to Object, Transformations, Position. The position box will show up on the right side of your screen. We want to uncheck relative position. Click on the left upper left box. Set X to 0 and Y to 12. We'll hit apply. And you'll notice that our image jumped to the upper left hand corner of our screen. We'll go ahead and close the transformations box. We'll leave the property manager open and zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel so that our image is larger. We'll start by making sure our object is selected by clicking on it. Then we'll go to effects, adjust, and tone curve. Some people refer this refer to this as tonal curve. We'll lighten our darks by raising our dark node up about two boxes from the bottom. We'll go ahead and click about a third of the way up our curve line. And as we do this, you can see the change in the box on the right. We'll click near the top and drag it down so that we get a fairly even curve. Then we'll hit OK to accept. Now we'll sharpen the image a little by going to bitmaps, sharpen, unsharp mask. If we drag percentage to the right, you'll notice it gets very grainy, but don't worry, that's normal. Since we're going to be engraving on a grainy material like wood, this actually helps enhance the image after it's engraved. So we'll drag that over to 500 and hit OK. You'll notice the image becomes a bit more grainy. If we zoom in, you'll see it's even more. Don't worry, we're still OK. The next step is to go to Bitmaps Mode and change our image to black and white. You'll notice that we have a black background behind our image. And you'll also notice that if we move our intensity slider up or down, the image on the right becomes smoother or more coarse. At this point, we want it very coarse. Again, this is because of our medium. Since we're engraving on a piece of wood, we want it very grainy. So we'll go ahead and select OK for that. You'll notice the image on this page does not have the background visible. However, it is still there. So we need to go remove the fill from that image. So we'll go click on the remove fill box in the upper right hand corner of our screen. It blinks. We don't really see anything happen, but it did. We'll zoom back in and you see that our image looks quite good, though grainy. Don't worry, it'll work out. Now we'll go ahead and send it to the printer. We'll select File, 
print. Make sure that our laser engraver is selected as the printer. We'll click the color tab, make sure that our color options are set as RGB. We'll go back to the general and we will go to preferences. Make sure that our birch plywood is selected. We'll go to settings. Everything here looks good. We'll hit process. The screen blinks. We don't really see anything that's happened. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit print. Again, the screen blinks. Nothing happens. So it has been sent to our Rayjet manager. We'll go ahead and double click on that. After we double click the printer manager, you'll see that we have our file here that we just created. If we hold our cursor over this preview box, it'll show us the outline roughly. It's mostly just for preview. Uh, we'll go ahead and just click on the move to job or move job to laser. Then we'll go to the laser tab up higher and click our move to home. That will send the laser to its home position. We'll go back to preview and go ahead and click on start, which will start the laser engraving. I'll show you an image of that as soon as it finishes. Well, here's our final product after it's been cut with our Rayjet 50 watt laser. This is a piece of eighth inch birch plywood. Uh, as we get closer, you can see that the detail is actually quite fine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our other tutorials. See you next time.